area that most people wouldn't be aware of now. Since in this day and age, we tend to do transactions online with multiple entities, multiple multilateral companies, which are which may be based far, far away from our country. But still, there's a monetary transaction that happens, and that monetary transaction should then equate to some form of accountability. How does are those areas also touched within this? Are there any standards given to those companies that conduct enterprise commercial activities within Sri Lanka or even any other country? Uh, actually, within Sri Lanka, um, is that touched from this act, or is there some standard that those companies should follow? Yeah, uh, good question, and and maybe I can clarify the distinction between the contract, yeah, and uh, other aspects of consumer protection. Yeah. So. Uh, Many of these international players which afford services to Sri Lanka, which are to our benefit, uh, goods or services, whatever category, uh, do it uh, through app-based solutions. Yes. And it's yeah. available at our fingertips. Yeah. And uh, we can uh, get those services very easily mm -hmm. to our home. Yeah. Uh, so uh, what is in interesting is when we download an app, uh, which provides that service through uh, international or a local entity, uh, we may necessarily be uh, subjecting ourselves to terms and conditions yeah. that come with it. Yeah. Uh, very often, uh, we just even we I, skip it. <laughs> we just say I agree I without agree reading the fine <laughs> line. And uh, often, uh, these are web based uh, arrangements, and by clicking I agree, we have signified acceptance. And I would think uh, in some cases, uh, if, if they apply Sri Lankan law, we can certainly invoke the provision of the Electronic Transactions Act and bring that contractual element within the category of electronic contracts mm -hmm. uh, in chapter, uh, chapter 3 of this Electronic Transactions Act. Okay. Um, uh, but if it is a uh, uh, foreign law, that is ap the applicable law, uh, there would certainly be an issue as to uh, the forum or the jurisdiction uh, or which court would have the jurisdiction to hear and determine an issue relating to that particular contractual matter. Okay. Uh, having said that, what I want to emphasize is that when it comes to the quality of goods, or the quality of services, whether the service uh, made available through the uh, digital platform is subject to local taxation, uh, that aspect would not be covered under the Electronic Transactions Act. So for the taxation aspect, the local Consum laws yeah. governing taxation would be applicable, and there are international norms that em emanate from international standards yeah. coming from uh, WTO mm -hmm. uh, and the latest being uh, from the OECD community. They have certain fundamental principles. So the policymakers in this country would have to look at those for guidance when they amend the tax law to uh, rope such digital-based activity into the tax net.